man. Okay, so um, audio is going to be uh, probably a little not as good today uh, just because uh, I have to keep my phone plugged in because I had to go take Cancer Dog down to get his uh, treatment thing. So he went to the vet. Um, again, this is the first coffee situation. Um, Mom! Um, should know later on how Brian's doing. I'm sure he, he will be doing fine. Anyway, so I wanted to come in here and do this real quick. Three things I'm grateful for. One, um, there is a really good possibility that I'm going to be taking a, a very good position at a startup that will allow you to earn cryptocurrency uh, for using social media. Um, it's uh, it's going to be like a... It's going to be like putting... Um, Twitter and Facebook and I think probably Patreon um, into a blender with a cryptocurrency. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, yeah, especially for Jenner, for content creators, you know, I, I, I want to start testing on a pilot program to, to, to really uh, figure out how to make the platform serve, you know, our types uh, as, as good as possible, but, uh, um, you know, help sort of create the first inklings of network effect. Anyway, I'll talk to you about that later. So anyway, super grateful about that. Um, really grateful that the vet was open and could take, uh, uh, Brian, my dog, uh, who's got some cancer spots he needs to get taken out. Um, tapped before and he handled it pretty well. So, so, you know, we're, we're optimistic, I guess. Um, and I'm grateful for Rody Muffin. Hey, Rody Muffin, you want to say hi? Sorry for that noise. It's probably terrible. Rody Muffin. Hi. Rody's like, why are you talking to me? What is this? What's going on? Anyway, um, now my stand is weird. Mike Silvestri. <clears throat> um, by the way, uh, Silvestri, thanks for posting that uh, the Washington University study stuff. I was actually looking for that stuff. So very curious to see if their numbers for Florida uh, check out. Because uh, that actually is uh, significantly better than what I thought. Um, and we'll probably be using that stuff for, for data to try and figure out when I can uh, go home. Anyway, so, uh, if you can, and Rachel, good morning. Good morning, sister. Uh, so, these mornings are all about you know, the, the practice, right? So I just listed out three things that I'm grateful for. Um, I would highly recommend, urge, and implore... Uh, there's 13 people watching right now. Just write three simple things that you're grateful for down in the comments. It doesn't have to be simple. You can make it as complicated and awesome as you want. Um, but the important part is just, just to uh, to do it. So write down three things that you are grateful for in the comments. Um, and while you guys do that, I'm going to uh, fire off at least one daily stoic thing here. Um, so that we uh, can keep at least trying to get caught up. They've been really good the last couple of days. And we should also drink lots of coffee. So, again, thanks for showing up. If you're here, please write three things down in the uh, comments that you're grateful for. The practice is everything, man. It really is. Stevie Lovell. <laughs> this is a, an already a good one. There's so many of these things that have been really kind of uh, appropriate for... Uh, well, it looks like Callie's in the backyard. Uh, so this is uh, March 21st. Again, we're, we're slowly catching up. Um, the best retreat is in here, not out there. People seek retreats for themselves in the country, by the sea, or in the mountains. Yes, we're all stuck in our houses. Uh, you're very much in the habit of yearning for those same things. But this is entirely the trait of a base person. When you can, at any moment, find such a retreat in yourself. For nowhere can you find a more peaceful and less busy retreat than in your own soul. As especially if on close inspection, it's filled with ease, which I say is nothing more than being well-ordered. Treat yourself often to this retreat and be renewed. Marcus Aurelius. Do you have a vacation coming up? Are you looking forward to the weekend so you can have some peace and quiet? <laughs> uh, none of us. Probably. Maybe you think after things settle down or after I get this over with, but how often has that ever actually worked out? 
The Zen meditation teacher John Cabot Zinn coined a famous expression, wherever you go, there you are. We can find a retreat at any time by looking inward. We can sit with our eyes closed and feel our breath go in and out. We can turn on some music and tune out the world. We can turn off technology or shut off those rampant thoughts in our head. That will provide us peace and nothing else. It's a sign of true education. Um, <clears throat> Mom, thank you for uh, uh, for doing that. Grateful no uh, COVID symptoms. That is fantastic. Amen to free healthcare. <laughs> yeah, Rachel, my... Uh, uh, um, my, my dear family-in-law member, uh, my family self, small town feeling here that makes this shelter in place a little easier. And a wine. Um, yeah, Gene and Carrie and I actually started watching uh, uh, Tiger King last night. They invited me out there to <laughs> watch it. And I had some wine with that, and it was entirely appropriate. If you're going to go down that road and watch Tiger King, I highly recommend your uh, uh, yeah neurological enhancement of choice. So, uh, the sign of true education. What is it then to be properly educated? It is learning to apply our natural preconceptions to the right things according to nature. And beyond that, to separate the things that lie within our power from those that don't. Epictetus. A degree on a wall means you're educated as much as shoes on your feet mean you're walking. It's a start, but hardly sufficient. Otherwise, how could so many... Uh, it, quote, educated people make unreasonable decisions or miss so many obvious things. Partly it's because they forgot that they ought to focus only on that which lies within their power to control. A surviving fragment from the philosopher Heraclitus expresses that reality. Many who have learned from Hesiod the countless names of gods and monsters never understand that night and day are one. Uh, just as you can walk plenty well without shoes, you don't need to step into a classroom to understand the basic fundamental reality of nature and of our proper role in it. Begin with awareness and reflection, not just once, but every single second of every single day. Like fucking that, yo. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'll be uh, uh, announcing some uh, some stuff around uh, Chirp uh, pretty soon. We're going to be making some memes. We're going to be talking about the new cryptocurrency called Proton. Um, and, uh, the fact that, uh, I think that the whole, uh, social media platform is probably moving to that, uh, chain, which is going to be awesome. Um, just lots of stuff going on. I know you're all stuck in, in, in your houses to everybody who's having to go out and, and, and do work still. Thank you times 10. Um, you know, the, the, we're, we're, we're going to get through this. Um, it's, uh, it's just going to be fascinating to see what lessons we draw from it and what we keep. Um, because I think there are some, some very powerful lessons being learned. Um, and of course, tons of powerful lessons not being learned, but, um, that would be in the category of things that are outside of our control. Right. So, yeah. Um, we're going to start hashtag coffee on YouTube on the Yatubes, uh, in, uh, I don't know, about 20 minutes. Um, give or take, uh, and you can go to youtube.com forward slash C forward slash coffee live. I have to check that out or you can, just keep an eye on my page and on uh, uh, So Local uh, to uh, um, to get a link once once we actually go live. Um, and I actually got a present from one of the the, the fans of the show uh, that I will be opening live on the show. I don't know what's in it, so that's fun. It's very light. So, yep. It's like I almost wanted to make an anthrax joke, but it's not really the time for it. You know what I mean? Anyway, cheers, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you in uh, in a little bit on the Yatubes.